Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to another fun-filled week of English 235. Uh, this week, we're going to take a look at our calendar, as we always do, and then look at the modules and see what resources they hold for us. So today is May 18th. We're going to be looking ahead toward our major assignment for the quarter, which is recommendation reports. All the work you're doing is going to culminate towards that report, the skills you're building now. All of that's going to help you when it comes to that final project. So I want us to get kind of in that mindset uh, this week. So we're going to be taking a look at writing recommendation reports and then looking at how we might conduct professional interviews. Because in your recommendation report, you are going to need to interview someone uh, to an expert in the field to get their perspective on how to complete whatever uh, set of instructions uh, you're going to be looking at. So uh, read up on the interviews, make sure you know how to conduct them in a professional manner, and then look into our discussion boards with topic one. We're going to be talking about some of the uh, ideas we might be looking at for this particular recommendation report assignment and some of the ways we might tackle those ideas. So log into that discussion topic. That'll help you as we uh, let these ideas evolve. Then we're going to, later on in the week, work on our interview informant profile. So once you've got an idea of what topic you're going to be looking at for the recommendation report, we're going to start thinking about what experts in the field we might want to contact um, so that we can get their perspective on our topic. Uh, we want to get a start on that now because the end of the quarter is going to come very, very quickly. And so if you have to reach out to someone, uh, call them a couple times to schedule a Zoom or an email or... Uh, phone call, whatever you need to do to get in touch with them, to ask your interview questions and get their answers. You want to make sure you get that all lined up before we get into our final project. So we're going to be working on that this week. So think about who you might want to talk to in terms of who is an expert in your field, uh, and then start thinking about what questions you might want to ask them. The interview informant profile just tells me who you want to speak with and what questions you want to ask. You don't have to have that profile done at this point, I just need you to start working on it. Uh, and then you're going to be starting to write your memo this week. Um, the memo isn't due until uh, the 31st, but start working on it now. I am going to move this memo date, so that's going to be uh, later on uh, in this week, probably beginning of this week, but do start working on that memo. Um, and there's information about writing proposals in the form of a memo. Uh, coming up early next week. So put that on your radar because the memo does have a component that does take quite a bit of time and that's an annotated bibliography. It involves research and finding at least uh, five sources that are going to work for you for your project. So put that on the back burner. It does take some time to find your sources and format them in an APA style annotated bibliography. So if you know research takes you some time, I would highly recommend starting work on that this week. Um, it's not due until the 31st, but annotated bibliographies are fairly time consuming. So put that on your radar as well. I will be moving that uh, date though. So check back for those changes later. Uh, so we go into our course and we jump into the assignments uh, this week as it slowly loads. Uh, we are going to be working on um, moving into the recommendation report, right? So you are going to be thinking about um, what you want in terms of topics, and we're going to be working towards um, a memorandum or a memo uh, telling people what topic you're going to be doing. So those are the big ones we're kind of building toward right now. The interview informant profile builds into that as well as you think about what expert you want to talk to in terms of your project and topic. So look over those assignments. Let me know if you have questions. Of course, they're all uh, connected to those excellent websites uh, Bob Peterson and I built. So take a look at those. They also have examples and lots of other resources for you. As always, I do have a lot of resources for you in the modules tab as well. As you scroll down to where we're at, uh, you'll see we've got lots of good stuff in terms of informant interviews, uh, proposals, recommendations, memo instructions. Uh, there is a nice little uh, PowerPoint on how to do annotated bibliographies. In fact, I've got a recorded lecture on annotated bibliographies just because they do take some time. Um, so please check that out. Once again, it's not due until the 31st, but it is one of the assignments that is more time consuming. So put it on your radar. All right. Excellent stuff coming our way today. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of topics you decide. 
to use for the recommendation report and what directions you want to go with your research. So if you have questions, reach out. I'm here to help. Have a great rest of your week, and I look forward to seeing your work.